logo into an animated end card or bumper for your videos and I particularly use them for my branded food videos. Um, you're going to start in Photoshop if you don't already have a logo. I'm going to kind of show you from start to finish. And uh, if you already have a logo, then you'll just join me in a few minutes inside Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go ahead in Photoshop and uh, create a new file. And that file is going to be 19 by 1080 because this is the size that my video is going to be when I pull all of my text in. You can see this is the size of an HD um, frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the horizontal type text tool. I actually have this little birdie pulled up because I'm going to use that as part of my image and so I want to pull the color right here and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and write the words Larkin Co because that's going to be the brand name that I want included in this video. I'm going to change it to the font that I want which for this brand is Montserrat and then I'm going to go ahead and just pull this to um, whatever size I want it to be. Let's say, let's see if 300 feels about right. I really like 30, 30 looks good. Um, I really like my graphics to kind of take center stage here. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to regular because I don't want the bold. Okay, so I have this. I'm going to grab my little selection tool and just drag this until it shows up this pink line as centered within the, the picture. Perfect. And uh, then I'm going to add a couple of other parts to this image. So um, for this graphic, this is actually for a website called Larkin.co, and so I'm going to create a new layer and throw in a little dot here. I'm going to um, go ahead and grab my picture of a lark over here. and. So basically what I'm doing is I'm recreating the logo for this site with a couple of parts and pieces. Now, like I said, if your logo is already created, don't panic. There is a way to um, not have all the parts and pieces, but I think that it's kind of a fun, nice little hack to uh, create, um, to have kind of all of the parts and pieces show up as part of your animation. And then I'm going to also add the term, the word creative down here because this is going to be at the bottom here. And that's in a different font. So I'm going to make sure that this goes into the right font. And it needs to be a lot smaller. So even smaller than that. And we're going to spread that out. Okay, so now what I have here is this logo that I've that I use for this um, up and coming website that I'm about to launch with my sister. And um, it has all the parts and pieces here. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, now is I'm going to hide the things that I, that I don't want. So I'm just gonna have in the very first screen, the words show up. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and I can actually hide the background and just save this as a PNG file. Save as. I'm going to change this to a PNG and I'm going to call it Lark and let's see we'll call it Video Lark 1. Okay now so step one is already saved. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the dot right there. So this is going to be saved as also a PNG and that's going to be video lark two. Really easy. I think you see where I'm going with this. Then we're going to add the little guy here. Our lark is up. Save this as video lark three. And if you're not familiar with Photoshop and this part is freaking you out, like I said, do not panic because if you have a designer who's already created your logo, no big deal. You can just pull that logo in. I'm going to show you how to do that at the end. But for um, kind of piece by piece animations, this is kind of a fun way to take your logo and just kind of hack the way that it comes in at the end of your video. Okay, so now I have all of these parts and pieces ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead 
and head on over to Premiere Pro where I have a video edited here. Um, and actually, I, I just deleted all of the videos because, you know, video management issues, so you can't actually see the video that is here. But we're going to go ahead and throw the bumper into this video anyway. So what I'm going to do now is find those pictures that I just imported. And I'm also going to pull in um, my actual logo for my personal website, and I'm going to show you two versions of creating this bumper. Okay, so we are looking for LARK. We're looking for video LARK. As you can see, this poor computer is incredibly slow because the darling thing is about done with its life, and so thanks for being patient while it pulls up all of our pictures. See, I know it's not going to <laughs> this poor little thing. It's just, it's just on its last leg. There we go. All right, so we're going to pull in, oh my goodness, welcome to having a computer that needs to be updated so desperately. It is so hard for me to switch. All right, there's our, it's so hard for me to switch to new computers though, so I keep putting it off, but we're going to get there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I've got my videos, I've got all of my edits in, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these over one at a time at the end of my video. One, two, three. You can hear my boyfriend is upstairs vacuuming because perfect timing, why not? Sorry about that extra noise. Okay, and then I always have just a 19 by 1080 white backer here. And so I'm just going to pull that. It's just a JPEG that's a white JPEG that has been sized to 19 by 1080. And uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and put that down here underneath everything. And then I'm going to make all of these a little bit shorter and closer together because I want them to flow relatively quickly between adding all of the parts and elements visually. Okay, so the really fun part of this is like I said, I'm going to show you two versions. I'm going to show you this kind of piecemeal version for your logo, and then one where if you already have a PNG logo, you're good to go. Okay, so here we go. We have all of our parts and pieces, and I'm going to make sure that the white back kind of ends here with the music. Okay, so then what I like to do is I'm going to just show you this. If I, if I play it, you can see that each of the little parts and pieces kind of pop in stop motion style. But maybe I want them to show up as a little more animated and so I'm going to go into my effects panel and I actually have downloaded these, they're kind of um, quasi after effects from filmimpact.net. Um, the bounce pack is great. I actually just purchased all of them because I like them all so much and I use them all the time and what they do is they just add a slightly more animated effect between um, my slides in Premiere Pro or my or my videos. Um, so I always I always edit with the impact. You can also edit with the standard. A, you can add a dissolve or you can add a wipe. Any of these standard vid video uh, transitions that are already in your Premiere Pro work. So let's go ahead and go to Film Impact just because I want to show you how fun these are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say let's pop this one here. Let's have the first one kind of wipe in. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have the little bird kind of appear from out of nowhere. And then let's have that final word also wipe in. That would make sense. And then we're going to have it all kind of directional blur out of the frame when it's all done. So this is what it looks like. Go ahead and play that for you at the end of a video that's not a video right now. So you can see a nice little light. We've got a little bop with the, the dot and the lark. And then here's our final one. Okay, so you can see that that is just kind of a fun way to bring in all of the elements. But what if you have a just a standard logo? So let's go ahead and import my traditional logo. And this is literally all I did at the end of my videos. It is so absurdly simple. You're you're gonna just you're gonna be sad at how simple this is. So here's my logo. It's a circle logo. I'm gonna go ahead and import this. Let's pull these images that we just pulled. 
I'm going to show you how that looks playing at the end one more time, but for now let's show you with just a standard video. Okay, whoa, giant, giant logo. What is a girl to do? I'm just going to double finger click or right mouse click on that image that I just pulled in, and I'm going to go here where it says scale to frame size, and it's going to calm that logo down. Another thing that you can do is you can actually just double click on it. It'll pull up a it, it'll pull up a selection box and you can make that logo whatever size you want directly on the screen. So you really can't mess this up. Don't panic. Don't panic. And then I'm going to drag that logo because I'm uploading this to YouTube and so I'm going to want a full 20 seconds. The boyfriend is doing so much vacuuming. It's lasting all day. Okay, so I want a full 20 seconds on um, YouTube of my logo just sitting here and hanging out. Um, and so I'm going to make, make sure that I pull it for an extra long time. That way I'll have room to put in the end card information. Then what I'm going to do is, again, just go here to my effects tab. And I usually like this impact zoom blur. I'm just going to zoom it in. And then I'm going to zoom it out. And look at how easy this is. Here comes my video. That's not a video. And you can see that's a zoom blur. Or sometimes I like the radial blur. We'll just throw that on. And so I just use that film impact preset to just animate my logo right into the screen. There you go. That's the one that I actually use for my videos. And uh, then we'll kind of get it to the end here. And as it zooms out, you can see that it will just find its way out in a fancy little way. So there you go. That is how you turn a logo, a JPEG or a PNG, into um, an end card for your video. And you do need to use a PNG with that very, uh, at the dissolved background um, if you don't want like a square around it. So just go ahead and uh, make sure that you get the PNG version from your graphic designer. Um, so let's go ahead and just review this inside the actual video. Oh my goodness, it is vacuum time. So I am going to just go ahead and run this once more. And then I'll let you go because apparently people are vacuuming whether I want them to or not today. <laughs> and you can see that our creative pop on in with the edits. So there you go. That is the way that you make a very quick little bumper um, with your logo that you already have and uh, animate the end of your video so that you look like